Hey you guys, as you guys can tell by the title, today I did my makeup with both high-end and drugstore products. Now I really want you guys to guess before starting watching the video what side is high-end and which side is drugstore just by looking. Now the highlighters are the only thing that just threw me off a little bit and honestly that's just because of the difference in color. But other than that, if you guys had to see me if you guys saw me like out in public, what side would you guys think was drugstore? And what side would you guys think was high end? I really wanna know before you watch this video. I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into the uh, the freaking video because I know this is gonna take a minute for me to record um, and just like for me to edit in general. So now, hey loves, I'm so sorry. I did not get to record the transitions, but I used the I Think I Love You palette by ColourPop and Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess. I'm going to go into this shimmer shade Iris and I'm going to pack that on the inner corner area. I'm going to wet my brush first. I'm going to wet my brush with like both uh, the same setting spray just because I feel like that makes sense. And I'm going to really just like try to add this in the center. Just give a pretty moment. That is such a pretty shade. I was going to do a cut crease, but then I was like, girl, there's too much to do. I am not about to do a cut crease right now. So we're going to do like a semi kind of cut crease where you kind of just cut it by doing foil shimmer. Like that. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. You guys are probably like, yes, girl, we know what you're doing. Um, Because I feel like a lot of you guys that come on here come from TikTok, which is so cool. And you guys do your own makeup all the time. And I think that's so cool. So fun. Now I'm going to take this shade right here called Era or Hera. I think it's either way. Then we're going to take that and kind of connect this shimmer shade to the next one. Just because I feel like why not? Drag that down. So I couldn't find the other brush, so I'm using the same one, but I did clean the mess out of it. So we should be good there. We're gonna go into this really pretty shimmer shade right there. Now given it's not the same exact shade um, as the other one, but I just wanted something that kind of resembles it. Um, I feel like you guys are gonna be like, no, it doesn't, especially when I put it on. Whoa. Yeah, that's way more icy. Okay. Um whoa what are we gonna do here that is unacceptable that is definitely different so we're gonna mix that with this shade over here on the bottom and hopefully that adds like a rose gold element oh there we go right now these shades seem to be super high shine compared to like i mean i'm sure you could like get these up there too but that is a like for this is a super cheap palette y'all and uh, both are good options but like girl this is really good quality to be honest with you now we're gonna do this shade right here which I feel like kind of represents the uh, era the era shade in the other palette. Yeah, you see, I, I think that those are similar. Really just try to build that up, which see, you definitely can do on this side, 100%. This is what it overall looks like. I think it's pretty similar. I think obviously one shade is a little bit more metallic than the other, but I, th I think for like a neutral look, um, it is pretty similar. I mean, honestly, it, it is pretty similar. So I'm gonna go put on lashes mascara all that and then we're gonna do the base makeup so this is the finished look on both sides you guys i feel like you really can't tell a big difference um i mean there's a little bit of difference with the undertones of the shimmers but honestly i think if i was out with my friends um no one would be able to really tell that i use two different palettes and i love this because it just kind of shows you like you don't really need expensive products like they're nice to have and honestly i do feel like i really like this side a lot 
but this side also gets the job done and also i did it a little bit messier which is because i was trying to like mix the shadows and everything like that so you know what i mean but i feel like it actually looks really pretty on both sides and i feel like i would definitely wear this out and not feel like people were going to notice yeah i'm really excited to do the rest of the face now we're going to go into the silk canvas by tatcha and we're really just going to go ahead and blur out some of that poor appearance and we're gonna do it on this oh my bad you're gonna we're gonna do it on this side of the forehead as well and we're just gonna really let that like melt into the skin now it's gonna be kind of funny to do my nose we're gonna do this side of the nose this is funny to me right here and then this side of the chin. I feel like you guys can already guess what we're gonna use for the other side, but if you can't, we're gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Primer. And so I'm just gonna open it up, use a different hand. See my dog in the back? And we're gonna go ahead and buff that into the skin. Now there's a pretty big price difference with these two items. This one might be like $5. The other item, mm, maybe like 40 which I know some of you guys are probably like, what the heck, Lindsay? But literally, I've, I've wanted it for so long. And one day I was just like, well, might as well spoil myself. So I did buy it. Everything is padded in. And yeah, you do have, oh, we didn't even, did we do the nose? I don't think we did the nose. Everything looks super duper blurred now. And honestly, pretty seamless on both sides, right? Leave me a comment. If you guys feel like, you know, specific products did way better than others. But yeah, I really, really love just like how nice the skin looks. The base looks really good now. For the high end side, we're going to go into the Tarte Glow Stick. And this is a thinner consistency. So we're going to kind of put a little bit more under there. We're going to put it on this pimpy right here. This pimple. Going to do the mustache on this side. What else what else i think that's all we're really gonna do on that side because you know what i mean i just want to do a little minimal check to see the differences this is the elf hydrating concealer i thought that maybe since they're both pretty hydrating we would whoa we would go ahead and see the differences obviously the difference uh, is gonna be that this is a little bit i think fuller coverage um and the shades are obviously like a little bit different too but we're gonna go ahead and blend those out blend that out with this dense brush and then going in with this brush on this side. We're actually going to go into the OG Tarte Concealer because honestly, it's just not fair that this one is so full coverage and this one isn't. It's really throwing me off. But honestly, like these are both obviously not drugstore. They're both like high end. But it was just like throwing me off way too much that this was so full coverage and this side wasn't. And y'all know the OG Tarte one is definitely full cover. You see that? That is great. That's what I was looking for. Now, obviously, the shade on this side is a little bit too dark for me. Like, that is just, like, very obvious. However, like, I felt like the quality um, of this one is a little bit more thick. And that's kind of what I needed um, to be similar to this side. So, yeah, try not to judge the colors too harshly if you can. For foundation, we're going to go into this hydrating Fenty foundation now guys this is not my shade okay but you know what I mean none of them are my shade except for my current believe beauty just because I've been so light lately from not really going anywhere do the same thing on the other side we're gonna use this believe beauty uh foundation we're also gonna add some vanilla shade um to this side of the face like i said this is all drugstore stuff still but i feel like the shade is definitely gonna cloud some judgments here so i'm gonna add that on top because if we don't um i'm gonna be looking hella darker over here and not over here um i'll still look darker over here but it just won't look as bad so yeah all right so we're just gonna blend both of these sides and whoa yeah like i said this is gonna be super light super light compared to the other side so you know we're gonna bronze so it's cool i think i hope okay so 
So I do think that adding that NYX shade, which was a little bit darker, kind of like helped even things out. It's definitely like, I think you can tell for sure that this side is a little darker, but I don't think it's that noticeable mixing the two drugstores. But we're gonna go into this, oh, there's a hair on this brush. We're gonna go into this uh, Lancome setting powder and really just put that underneath. Guys, this was expensive, okay? This Lancome um, Long Time No Shine powder it was a little up there in price not even a lie to y'all can't even lie to you um but honestly i love it so much like it's actually my favorite powder so look at that like do you see how airbrushed that makes my skin now look at this side look at all that texture and now look at this side you guys i cannot make it up this powder is so good i'm gonna put that on my smile line Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, put it on the stash. And we're going to use the, oh, actually, let's put some on the forehead, looking a little shiny. Oh, I love this powder so much, oh my goodness. So for the drugstore, I feel like everyone owns this, and if you don't, I don't know, I, I really feel like everyone has this, okay? So this is the Fit Me powder um from maybelline and we're gonna use a different brush of course and just pack that also a really really good powder to use especially if you're like bowling balling on a budget and you can't really afford a more expensive one this one is key i feel like everyone has this one if you don't i don't know but i feel like everyone does have it we're gonna put it oh you see right here you can definitely see that this side is more yellow and then i move over here and it's like lighter oh my goodness both of these are really really stunning products and honestly make your skin look super duper flawless like look at that look at that like look at it it's so good i love setting powder just a quick thank you if you guys are still here with me um this video might be a little bit longer hopefully i can edit it to not be but we're gonna go in to this bronzer called dulce or dolce and we're gonna oh Oh no, I'm supposed to use it on this side. Okay, we're gonna go into this bronzer over here called Dulce, or Dolce, my bad, and we're just gonna add some warmth to this side of the face. I am like so dead that I freaking did it wrong. I was bound to make a mistake, like it's me we're talking about, you guys, so. I'm gonna go into this one right here called Into Sun, and we're just gonna use a different brush, of course, and then really just add some more warmth on this side. Yeah, I feel like you can really tell on the forehead that they are pretty similar. They are definitely pretty similar. This one is a little darker, but I mean like they're pretty similar. Uh, that looks terrible. So like don't even worry about how unblended that looks because we're going to fix that. So for the more expensive side of the face, I'm going into this shade called P Pink Power from Kylie Cosmetics. And we're just going to put that on the apples of the cheeks and kind of like right above the bronzer. Also on the nose, on the left side. It's so funny like doing it this way, but yeah, on the nose on the left side as well. And on the other side, we are going to go into this True Match blush from um, L'Oreal. And we're gonna use like a stippler brush because I don't really have any other blush brush to use. And we're just going to go ahead and put that in the same kind of area. And as you can see, like in my opinion, these are pretty, pretty like dead on. Um, they're pretty duper, super similar. Also, you have to use more product with this than the other side, but it still like has a really nice finish and a really nice wash of color. Cute. Looks really pretty. But I'm just gonna take a powder brush and kind of just dust a little bit and do some circular motions just so like everything isn't too harsh. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I am extremely excited to do the highlighter. So for highlighter, we have the shade Snow Angel from Kylie. 
just kind of putting that right there. Super icy, super pretty, super just beautiful, honestly. And I feel like this isn't like super high end, like it was kind of affordable. However, comma, like, you know what I mean? It was still, I feel like like 18, $20, which I think is pretty up there for a highlighter, to be honest. And then we're gonna go into this Wet n Wild highlighter. I can't even tell you like what the name of it is because it is brushed off, but we're just gonna go in the same area. And as you can see, this highlighter is also pretty, pretty blinding, you know what I mean? Pretty, pretty, pretty blinding, honestly. The shade isn't like 100%, but I mean, I felt like it was similar. And then we're gonna add some on this side of the nose as well. And something that you'll notice is that when I'm like looking forward, they both kind of have a little cast because they're both a little bit dark for me right now with my shade uh, I am right now. Um, you can kind of, yeah, you can definitely tell on both sides. I decided to go ahead and just put on the Dose of Colors gloss and made you blush. I feel like, okay, obviously the highlighter is the dead giveaway in my opinion that, you know what I'm saying, like this side is definitely a little bit different than this side. Um, but other than that, y'all, I feel like dead serious, like it looks really, really similar, right? Like, don't you guys think? I definitely feel like this side and this side look really, really freaking good. Um, and I don't really see a lot of difference, especially with the blush, the bronzer. Like, I feel like it all just really looks very uniform on both sides of the face. Definitely leave a comment, though, if you guys guessed right or wrong as far as which side was high-end and which side was drugstore. And also just leave comments for if you want to see other content like this in the future. If you guys really stuck around till the end, I love you so much. Thank you. I know, like... You know, me being behind a camera, like making YouTube content, like it's just something to get used to. So every time I, you know, create more, especially cause like this is me doing makeup. Um, I don't have it in me to take out these ums. This whole video has been me taking out ums. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm on camera, which I'm not totally used to. Uh, you know what I mean? I am, but like I'm not. Um, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I will get better. And thank you guys so much for being here with me on this journey. Definitely like and subscribe. And yeah, just leave down comments below. I love you. Bye.